Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So before this video starts, um, make sure to check out my partner FastAlts at FastAlts.com. They are the best place to obtain your Minecraft accounts. So check them out. Um, so yeah, um, so today I'm going to be making a video on this screen share tool called SaveShare. So, um, quick disclaimer that after this video, if you are interested in purchasing this SS tool, um, you can use my code SPOOKE, which will be in the description below for 10% off, and um, I'm going to receive that percentage, so it's kind of like a mutual thing, you know? Um, you know, you help me and I help you, so hope you guys can understand that, and I just want to clear that out before, um, you know, I begin the video. So, um, this SS tool um, does detect, like, internal clients and external clients, like um, auto-clickers and ghost clients. Um, but for this video, I'm only going to be demonstrating the aspect of the fact that it detects websites that you went on. So a lot of people don't know, but if you actually go in incognito mode and search up websites, um, it still leaves strings. And even if you are wipe it or clear the entire processes or strings, it's it, the SS tool can still find it, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to run the SS tool before I visit any of those websites. So I'm going to run it right now. And just gonna set this. All right, now I'm just gonna have to enter my code in. Um, actually, before that, we need to get all the processes. So I guess I'm just gonna fast forward this part because it's pretty boring. All right. So yeah. Alright guys, um, I've successfully loaded all the processes of strings, so now we're going to enter the code, which we cannot see, um, so we're going to click on scan, and it's going to tell me to accept and logged in, so okay, um, so give it a couple of seconds and it should load, um, so just waiting right now. Alright, so you'll be greeted with this um, command prompt and you want to enter your code again, which I will have to cover it up because you guys can use my code to like, you know, use it yourself, which is not good, obviously. So we're going to paste the code in and press enter. And now it's going to start um, checking all the memories that have loaded in. So let's see. Alright, so as you guys can see, um, okay, I'm actually going to cover this up as well because it shows my um, in-game account. I'm currently logged in on a private account that I used to climb the ranked Skywars leaderboard, which is kind of irrelevant, but I'm going to blur it out just for the sake of my account not getting banned. So we're going to blur it, gone okay. So as you guys can see, I've bypassed all the checks. Um, I'm not sure what this check is. It's external Java checks. I think it's due to the fact that I have like a lot of like cheat files on the computer, but I'm not using them, so maybe that's why it failed. But as you guys can see, I'm clean. Um, I'm clean. I bypassed the SS tool, so now we're gonna close it, and we're gonna exit out of this. So once you exit out of it, the file actually self-destruct. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys when I re-download the tool. Alright guys, I'm back and I have the tool reinstalled on my fly right here. So before we do that, I want to restart my chromes. So um, you can also use CC Cleaner, I'll wipe and clean, those all work. But just for the sake of time consuming, I'm just going to use Process Hacker. And we're going to restart, I believe it's restart, yes. Um, Alright, so we're going to close out of chrome. And we're going to open it up again. 
Alright, so our Chrome is now restarted. Um, let's put this in the background. And now we're gonna visit some cheat websites. So let's go to incognito mode because we are very sneaky. Um, we're gonna visit the demon website. Just gonna visit a couple of cheats website and like some miscellaneous stuff. Come on, okay, there we go. So we are on the demon website, the slicker website, it's an auto clicker, and this is a ghost client. This is a, I think it's an account generator slash, I don't know, Wi-Fi grab or something, DDoS. I'm not sure about that. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Um, the developers told me that I can use this as one of the websites. So, so yeah, we have these right here and we're gonna close out of it. And we're gonna restart the process again because, you know, obviously, it logged those things because incognito mode doesn't like actually hides everything so we need to oh god i need to okay i think i need to do this process again okay well, this is kind of inconvenient but i'll just do it for the sake of i'm um, sh showing you guys so Also, I do want to note that you have to open your process hacker in administrator mode, which can go to hacker, show off processes, so you get like extra commands, I guess. Um, so now I'm on the websites, I'm gonna quickly restart. All right, there we go. And now we're gonna open the save share tool again. Alright, just give it a second, so it's gonna load. Alright, good. And um, we're gonna open up Process Hacker from here and open it as administrator mode. And now I'm gonna fast forward this part because it's the same as the previous one, just downloading the files and stuff. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and um, I've successfully loaded. Okay, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna cut this clip out. I'm just gonna manually put them in. Um, I it's kind of inconvenience to be honest. I find it kind of like, I mean, at, at least it's better than manually doing it because it's not not that time consuming, but it's just kind of annoying, you know. Um, so let's say SS. Uh, All right, there we go, and now let's enter the code in, and um, we're gonna click on scan. Yes, 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 what's up, what's up? All right, um, we're gonna enter the code again, so I'm gonna have to clear that out. Wink, wink, uh. Alright, we're logged in now, so let's see what this does. Alright, so... Alright, I think it's pretty clear now. Um, Alright, so we're gonna blow the sticker in. I, I don't like how it shows my IGN, but I guess it's one of those things. I mean, you can just manually check it by going to .minecraft and username cache, but, you know, that's a good feature. Uh, Alright, so as you guys can see, I've bypassed all the checks. I don't know why my external Java checks are still messed up. I guess it's because I have like, I actually have my cheats here. This is my ghost client, my private client right here. Um, but I'm not using it, so it probably just like checked it as that. Um, so right here, you have Wi-Fi.Write, Website Nature, Distributed null Service. You have Demon.GG, um, Ghost Client, Slicker.CC is an auto clicker. So it's pretty neat. Like. If I were a staff and I found out they went on these websites, personally, I would just assume that, you know, they they have some sort of cheats, they probably have a registered account, they have purchased a product, and, you know, most of the time, it's like at least 50% correct, like, why would you visit a cheat website when you're, like, legit at all, um, you know, so, yeah, that's pretty much end of this video, so if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more content, 
And I guess this video is sort of sponsored. Well, not really, but like if you guys want to use my code, which will be in the description below. So check out the description for more information, guys, to purchase the tool. And I do want to say that this tool is reliable because they have been in the market for a long time. And the developer, which is IB Thiefing, he's the developer of Vape. Um, he's actually the one that exposed Polybot. So obviously, he's reputable and he's well known. So I'd say try out this tool if you guys are interested. And it's, well, I guess, it's one of the OG. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.